You can take off weight. Take it off. See, this is, he, only, was he only had one shot. Long. I told you when he started drinking, he said saying nasty stuff. <laughs> yeah. Who? Me? Yeah. Nasty. I don't say nasty stuff. Let me tell you something. When you have liquor in you, you, sir, are in rare form. I'm a whole saint. Let me tell you something. I walked past and heard. At the house party last Yes. Night. I said, not that, that's not my, <laughs> not my juju talking like that. This nigga's nasty. Uh, I said, okay. He still don't need ass, though. What did you hear him say? He just said some things. I said, damn, <laughs> this nigga's nasty. Johnny. And it'd be different. I, okay, it'd be different if the girl wasn't somebody that he would, like, talk to, but she was actually somebody he could actually, like, talk to. So I was like, yeah, he talking nasty. <laughs> uh, so she was bad. She was cute, yeah. Who was you talking freaky to at my house party, man? <laughs> she was outside by the stairs. Oh. Like, by the front, mm. on the side of the garage. Mm-hmm. I know who it was. Yeah. This you is, talked to her. You sure it was me? You the beigest nigga I know. <laughs> you was the lightest person there. It was definitely party. you. I probably was the only light skinned. Damn, me and Brock was the only two light skinned niggas at the party. Hey, Brock, it was definitely you. It was you. We back another week in another episode <laughs> BYOB, the podcast. I definitely said something. As you shit. see, we are <laughs> we are kind of Social distancing and I shit. Fuck social distancing. Stay the fuck away from me is it's what I've been saying. It's actually called physical distance now. It's I'm not, not called phys- social. Physical anymore. distance is when you digging up in that thing thing because y'all quarantine. That's you got to hit it from the back. That's the yeah you part. And you you keep your no, hands no on face the- to face. Well, I think at some point in time I said I'm gonna put so much dick in you. Oh. Like I <laughs> I think that was a statement that I made to somebody <laughs> on Friday. <laughs> I was that. I mean, you saw how many shots I had. I was bad. Man, listen. I didn't mean it. I just it just sounded nice at the time to say. We back another week, <laughs> another episode. BYOB the podcast. I am your host, regular Ja. I go by the name of Hey Yo Eddie Proof. And it's Pam. Our lovely Pam. co-host Pamelita La Ew. Uh, so yo, she got a yo. I'm about to tell you, Kyle. You you gonna be proud, yo. Whatever. Here we go. Pam got a new nickname. What's the new nickname? It's what bitches call her, though. It ain't no niggas. What, what bitches call you, Pam? They call her Pam the Piper, cuz. No, they do not. Wow. No, they don't. <laughs> That's mad devious. They call her Pam the Piper. Why That's not they? true. Did you Pam be, that, Pam did you be piping that last these, week? No. Pam be piping these bitches. No, I don't. Wow. No, I don't. Like Pinky. You like, see, this, like, see the look on my face? Wow. Like Pinky. Like, I do not. I would, but I, I like she not. Like Pinky, bro. You got here strapping bitches, Pam? I have, but no, I don't. <laughs> you have, but you don't. But yeah, you I will. don't, but I will. So she you, have, but so you're just don't. not currently. Currently, right oh, now, okay. she's just not admitting because she's on the spot. Let's say this. I birthday don't do shot. that. If y'all don't know, it's, it's this motherfucker's birthday it's right birthday. here. Birthday, man. You know, we it's out here. Birthday. Thirty-four years old. I made it. Hey. Somewhat. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all, man. We love you. I actually tap, so y'all can shut the fuck up this time. I shut the fuck up if you take the shot. There you go. So, um, yeah. We out here. What are we starting with this week? What's on the topic? What's on the channel? I mean, list? as always, we should, we usually start with music. But I want to start with the, the, the big ass elephant in the room. The Rona? The Rona. The Rona. Only black people give shit nicknames. Of course. Yeah. It's a fucking the, disease. The, the disease fucking is, Rona. Yeah, disease is killing people in the world. We give it a nickname. That shit cool. Yeah. And so. it's not even shorter than the actual name. It's just, we just change the shit. Yeah. It just sounds funner to say Rona, even it though does. it's not fun. No, even it, the, the weirdest shit, say. the coronavirus ain't even the name. That's the type of virus that yeah. the shit is. Like. COVID-19. Black people been doing that shit for years. Right? They call, what do they call diabetes? The sugars? The sugars. The sugars. <laughs> yeah, the sugars. <laughs> I don't know. Old white people call that diabetes. We don't take shit seriously. At all. Clearly, we don't. I mean, for what? And when like, I say we, I'm part of that population. We are definitely yeah, part definitely, of that I don't take shit seriously. Unfortunately. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to say We take full serious. accountability. Yeah, we know. Yeah. I mean, it's serious. I have not but, practiced social distancing. But I haven't, nah. I haven't social, done any social distancing. Get that chaser. Hey, let me get that chaser, cuz. I haven't practiced no any promotion. social distancing. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Not even. Not Damn. That's they go, they go, they, they go. Make sure they get they, they motherfucking it. some good ass juice too. That's what I told them. I yeah. bet. 
<laughs> that's not some shit you said last week. Facts. Now, I think only old niggas can get away with those fries. Boy, that's some good-ass juice you got, girl. Ew. God damn good. good. That's some good-ass juice. This nigga got titties just coming through the phone. Yeah, that you. That's definitely not. Is that my phone going? That on? was definitely you. Oh, that's well, birthday I not, nudes. I do not have. That's been you the whole time. My phone. Let me turn my phone this way. Cases some titties. I'm looking because I, mean, I can see. If it was my birthday, I would hope titties would be coming to my phone. I, I love that. Privilege. I love titties. No, a bunch of nonsense. Y'all just gonna stop talking about the Rona? I was, but yeah, so titties? that's him. I mean, the shit has everybody quarantined, and it's uh, it's doing a lot. Fucking the economy up, but it's cleaning the air. Because nobody's outside. So they said literally LA and New York, like the the air is noticeably clearer. They said I think in like Italy the, the dolphins are swimming. Yeah, yeah, canals and cleaner and shit, but So good. that just That's lets us know how trash though. we are. I mean, who good is that you humans know, are if trash? We can't use the shit. Like it's beautiful outside the air is clean. Maybe the earth can't go outside and use it. Maybe the earth ain't for us. Maybe that's... <laughs> no, yo, Thanos was right, yo. Maybe that's their way of telling movie? us that humans need to go ahead and get the fuck off of Earth. Because we the ones that's fucking it up. No, the Avengers movie was right. Where he wanted to kill half the population to save the Earth. Like, that's probably what you need to do. Um, I mean, if that's what you want to do So you blame Earth. Marvel. I'm just saying Marvel was right. The plot thickens. Yeah, they blame shit if they're right. It's supposed to be right all the time. I mean, tr- no, my... Trunk. <laughs> that's what it is. Trunk. I didn't even say his full name. I said trunk. I but, said yeah. trunk. Oh, you call him trunk? You know, you ain't see the meme with the lady or the video? No, nah, I mm-hmm. missed that. Y'all didn't see the black lady in her I car? That. She, she was going, ha- she called him trunk and she was going ham. That's hilarious. About her weed and being at home with the kids. It was great. Well, you know, yeah. they actually made uh, the dispensaries in California essential personnel. They should because people That's do need that. Well, cannabis is very essential. To everyday life, it is. But they're closing down liquor stores. Florida closing down their liquor stores starting Monday. They're gonna rob them bitches anyway. I feel like Florida is the last place that should close anything because the motherfuckers is crazy. Especially yeah, I fuck with Florida. <laughs> Get them whatever they need be. Why would they close that? Let down? them niggas just have it. Why is America <laughs> leading the U.S. in coronavirus cases? I because saw that. the week, the first week they quarantined niggas, everybody went to the fucking beach and threw a party. I threw a party. That shit was lit. That shit was lit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was lit. That shit was lit. So I mean, we had a good time. <laughs> we we definitely had a good time. We all had a good time. It was a good night. It was a good night. We had a motherfucking. That was great. Bless. That's, that that should tell you how I feel about the corona. So are they saying with like the ten people or whatever? Are they saying that one in those ten people like people has it. Is that why they're doing that? Has anybody been said? Like I'm so confused. I mean, I've seen a few people that I actually know on my friends list that said they got diagnosed with it, so. Yeah, you should probably expose them. I haven't, no. That's fucked up. (laughs) No, it's not. (laughs) They're they're quarantined. Oh, so you want to save the masses or protect your friends? Nah, they quarantined. That's how they know. I'm a big person of. Oh, yeah, nigga, protect my friends. If you got an STD, nah, B. If you got an STD, you need to wear like a patch on your shirt. Yeah, so no, nah, that's, that's different. And it's sad it's that everybody knows. But but it's, it's not, it's it's not it's, different. It's, it's not sad that everybody knows. Yeah, but, you're right. It's you know, actually not. If you got to protect the masses, then you got to protect the masses. Facts. But nah, they quarantine. That's cool. But this person oh, works in health. I mean, you been around them? She going to be like, nah. Oh, I've been. Yeah, I was get the fuck around me. I don't take that Yeah, I don't take that shit serious, but I ain't about to fight with it. Yeah, I work in an essential retailer, so. I, yeah, no, nah, black people I don't take shit serious. believe that. That's, that's one thing. Black people won't take this shit serious until a motherfucker in the store coughing yeah. beside them. Then Please motherfucker, don't get me started. Motherfucker, get, motherfucker get serious as hell. Pam, you be at work with gloves and masks. I know, I, I cussed somebody. I'm somebody, sorry. Somebody coughing around you? She didn't cough, she sneezed. So a woman walked by and she's like, hot chew. And I'm like, <laughs> and I just, I just was chill. And I'm like, okay, she didn't just sneeze. And then she was like, "Hot you. I was like, no, the fuck you yeah. didn't. Bitch, ain't no, no pollen, you didn't. Ain't no pollen in this store. And she like hauled ass. And I felt bad, but I'm just like, you just sneezing like that? Yeah. You didn't even Was she the it? same color as the top of the cup? Yes. <laughs> of course. Yes. So, look, what did, what nah, did she tell look, you when you asked her? She just made a face and hauled ass because I gave her the look like, bitch, if you don't, it don't ain't play that, with me. It's niggas acting up too, man. I was in 7-Eleven. You know, all the stores you go into now, they got like X marks to spot where you got to stand and so yeah. six feet apart. Because it just took us like. Fucking thirty minutes no, to, to go to two stores. Yeah, Pam was in and out. They're playing hopscotch. Pam was definitely the ABC not in and out. Store. She was not in and out of the liquor store. She was in it's there because they like, got hopscotch. You got to go from here to yeah. here to here, and then to go. It's back just over that here. Pam looks like she looks, and I look like I look. So I'm the one that's gonna get chastised for, for, for taking long. Well, how do you look, and how do I look? You're a woman that looks. You're uh, 
slightly attractive. Oh, thank you. No, I'm just playing. You're an attractive woman, and I'm just a light-skinned nigga. Nobody gives a fuck about no light-skinned niggas. This is a fact. It's 2020. Ooh. Niggas ain't give a fuck about us since Nino 90, Brown stabbed a nigga in the 96 hand. 96 beat. I was about to say, like, 96 <laughs> oh, shit. Give a fuck about Nino stabbed a nigga in the hand and was like, I never liked y'all pretty motherfuckers anyway. No, nigga, I was at 7-Eleven, and this nigga was just on my back in 7-Eleven. First of all, nigga, they got X marks the spot, so why are you not standing on the X? Ain't nobody following them X. Even if it wasn't for the fucking coronavirus, my nigga, you were just too yeah, like close. Back, just, oh, yeah, back just back up, up my nigga. Yeah. Like, yeah. There's no such back, thing as personal space. That absolute yeah. fuck up. I took a step forward. He came in. No, my, my nigga, don't step forward. Like, I need you to stay <laughs> a step back. That's why I, I honestly feel like people are, like, getting closer to you now instead of being... Well, like I said, especially I feel me, like, I see that work all the time. But I'm I like, feel you're like if you're close no enough for space. me, I'm going to elbow you. And I look at it like this. If you're close enough for me to elbow you, you should have been social fucking distancing. That's fine. That's it. But, um, nah, it's, it's, it's really fucking up the economy, though. It is. And it's... Like, it's a it's, lot of businesses are either closing or shutting down in, indefinitely or they're suspending fucking service until whatever, like... Norwegian Airlines give me back my motherfucking money. Yo, I need um Oh they owe you? They owe me. They might I think we they are might with, night your shit. Okay. I think we're with United, I think, <laughs> for us for our Vegas trip that we were supposed to be on next week. Like give me that back. Vegas is shut down. I need my money. And we insured our tickets. I was supposed to wake up in Amsterdam the day be. Carnival gave me my shit back and they gave me a voucher for my next one. Right. Norwegian you better get my money back. Yeah, they better <laughs> run me this this money. I'm not playing. I got a good lawyer who just sent me a happy birthday card. Don't make me call. <laughs> I, don't. I need a gift. Yeah, please don't I need a birthday me. gift from you, nigga. I think all this is going to be like a test of people's like money management for sure. Well, it's it's more than money management because a lot of people don't manage money well. Um, Even people who manage money well are, are panicking. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's more so like if this shit comes down to survival. So when this shit was first happening, I was kind of like. Making fun of people who was like wearing gloves all day, you know what I'm saying? But then I thought like, yo, we really, we really privileged to the point of, uh, somebody pointed it out, but I'm piggybacking off of it. We privileged to the point of the fact that we never had been through no shit like this, that people don't know that you shouldn't wear the same gloves all day. Like, yeah. no, I mean, it's that's common the, sense to a lot of I was us. Just, it's yeah. We live in a dirty yeah. society. That's what I'm saying. That too. Dirt, but it's, it's, it's common sense to a lot of us. But we live in the nobody does it's common no shit sense like this. to the people who live clean lives to you dirty motherfuckers. That's true. It's yeah. not common sense. I mean, dog, that's even like all right. If you even if you work in fast food and you, this shit ain't going on, obviously if you make somebody food and you go touch the fucking refrigerator door, you would change your gloves. Or well, unless you work at like rallies or something, because they don't really give that a fuck. Yeah, Waffle House, Waffle House also don't give a shit. <laughs> They wear gloves at Waffle House? Hell no. <laughs> not, not, the good, not the good ones. No. Say, not the good they, ones. They wear gloves no. there? Hell I thought no. you just kind of... I thought Waffle House was like one night stand. Like, you just kind of... It's, it's, this is how you, it's, it's take how you, you get it. It's yeah, like, you take how you get it, B. Like, take you know the risks. Senses. You know the risks of being here. Like, what are you going to do? You going you gonna to still fuck around or you going to go home hungry? This is like some around. simple shit though, like wash your hands. Yeah, how, but nah, how but it's hard it's to wash your hands. It's to the point where people like it's the little dumb shit like that that people like. How the fuck you not know? To to change it, they think like people are pe- dirty. People really think yeah, dirty as fuck. But mm. they thinking like if I wear this same pair of gloves, nigga, it's not a porous. Well, it's virus. the same thing with the, the face mask too. If it gets wet, it's no longer useful. No, the funniest shit I be seeing niggas wearing face masks with the beard hanging out the bottom. <laughs> Like all kind of shit, <laughs> nigga. What the fuck is the point of this shit, bro? It's like putting on a condom and just putting on the tip of your dick, yeah. <laughs> or cutting the tip out. Yeah, I've never thought about doing that. <laughs> Damn, you know what? In all the sensation in the head. Yeah, that's most yo, of it. that's fine. You do that shit. Now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you be getting the dickhead off a of condom. You are a different type of nigga, B. Bro. You are different. I'm not so, speaking. So of you can experience. say you didn't go raw. But you, <laughs> I see. I see the. I see the. I'm not speaking of experience. I'm just saying. It's, it's. I was. This whole show is based off of life experiences. You're not gonna lie to me, B. But it's the same thing. If we, even at work, like if I'm putting on gloves, I'm gonna wash my hands and then put those gloves on. But some people don't even like wash their hands the right way. Like if you wash your, you turn the faucet on, right? And then you wash your hands. If oh, you yeah, some people, tap that shit after yeah, you wash touch, your hands, hands your hands are fucking dirty again. That's why, yo, it's been times that I'd, I'd stood in Wawa bathroom for like eight minutes. 
Because they don't have the paper towels. Yeah, they got the little blower shit. And I'm in there by myself, so I'm waiting for somebody to open the door so I can leave out because I don't want to grab the fucking handle. You use your shirt. No, then it's on my fucking shirt. <laughs> you have a little pee. <laughs> I ain't talking about the pee. I'm talking about after I wash my hands and shit. <laughs> little sugar gave you pee. Nah, so it's like... Cause, all right, so... tell us a real reason you stay in a Wawa bathroom for eight minutes. By myself. Yeah. Fucking. <laughs> First of all, I would be so hey, weird out. Up, Y'all up. shooting OnlyFans videos in <laughs> Wawa bathroom. I'd be so weirded out if Porn I like... Pornhub Premium is free for the next two weeks. So. Is that a joke? No, no, that's true. No, that's that's a fact. Yeah, poor, I was like, I've never <laughs> former premium definitely got some different shit on there. So shout I out to the Corona. I know this nigga probably subscribed the first day they announced it. Facts. I didn't even know, it's but I'm gonna do that tonight. <laughs> gonna make sure I do that. It's worth the subscription. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. You didn't know? No, I'm, we're I'm not so gonna excited. see payment. Shut, we're shut. not gonna see payment until next episode. Oh shit. <laughs> she gonna come out with the quagmire yeah. arm and you shit. You wanna stop me by the store so I can get some batteries? <laughs> I have some. I stocked up. I made sure I had mine just in case it got real. So shout out to the coronavirus. That it definitely gave us Pornhub free. Yeah. Me. If you see me on there, mind your business. Netflix still ain't blessing niggas though. Absolutely not. <laughs> I seen a nigga say, "When is Netflix two coming out?" Because he watched every being stuck in the house. He watched everything Damn. on Netflix. <laughs> this shit but, ugly. But yeah, I mean, uh, but we got sidetracked. But yeah, economy fucked up. I mean, this shit is fucking everything. It's only though. getting worse too. It's only getting worse because it's, it's just starting. And they really about to shut everything down because of people like us. It's only getting well, bad for people who have money. People I ain't going to say broke. people like us. People who were broke, it didn't even matter. Bitch, I've been broke. It's nothing yeah. new. I ain't going to say people like us because i only been to one like social gathering. And that was when it first started. So they didn't have the 10 people cap on yet. It was 50. No, it was a 10 and people I think, cap. And I think Kyle's birthday party might have still broke that. Yeah. <laughs> I think We're not going to speak on that. I think it still might have been more than 50 people in there. Nobody from my birthday party has turned up sick yet. Nobody. Not, not one. one. And I literally gave shots of hand sanitizer out to everybody as they walked in the door. Was it the um? Was it the alcohol? Maybe it was the liquor. It killed it. Maybe because we it was we that just, tequila. Maybe we stay so fucked up that shit probably just can't survive mm-hmm. in our immune system. I mean, my immune system is fucking immaculate anyway. Yeah, mine is too. I got a great immune system, so yeah, I don't really I don't get sick know. either. So yeah, mm. the the shit that's hurting me the most. I mean, okay. Obviously, the economy is hurting me, but it's no fucking sports. Nigga, you know this shit's only been like two weeks since then? I've never, yo. It seems really this long. shit seems like it's been like six months. And the crazy thing is... <laughs> I feel like I ain't seen a basketball game in a year and a half. This shit is ugly. This is worse than when it's only baseball on TV to watch. I even enjoy baseball because I gamble on baseball. Yeah, I mean, I I, I watch you like the, I watch like on? the last three innings because I'm not sitting there watching the whole you ever, fucking... You ever gambled on Nicaraguan soccer? Yeah. Oh, soccer's lit. I've, look, soccer is lit. That's what One time I'm yeah, so nah, happy soccer I watch sports because I'm not hurt by it. I found out I can gamble on the weather. I'm about to pay two crackheads to just throw hands because I can't watch boxing or UFC. So I know you got parlays on that. Uh, yeah, I, I did. We about to just we just about to hit St. Paul's Garden Offer. That's where I know they're gonna be at that shell beside the McDonald's. Yeah, Sorry, they, and we gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna just tell them like, whichever one of y'all motherfuckers win this fight. You ever seen an old DVDs called Bum Fights? Yeah, yeah. I remember <laughs> the Bum Fights. But bring back Bum Fights. Won't none of them Norfolk bums though. Nah, them, <laughs> our bums built a little different. Superhuman strength. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, this whole Corona shit is some fucked up shit. Like, I would go out Portsmouth, but them them bums shoot niggas. Yeah. I do think we're gonna get a curfew <laughs> right? though. Which is the stupidest shit. Like, how you putting curfew on people? Like the coronavirus only come out after five o'clock. Or it only come out after eight o'clock, so I can't catch a coronavirus at seven forty-five. Yeah, I can catch it at eight fifteen. And then the craziest shit, the, shit, the, cr- the dumbest shit about the, the fucking curfew is niggas with the corona is just gonna be out when we out, and they're gonna go in the fucking house when we in the house. And there's mad stipulations on the curfew, like if you're going to the grocery store, if you're going to family. Well, for my job, they've essential personnel. So yeah, they gave us yeah, like. Papers. I heard jobs have been given pieces of paper. I could print no. one of them shits at the crib. Like, how the fuck would they know and sign it myself? I'm they don't know start my selling them shit. They don't know what my boss signature looked like. I could just sign my own shit. They you're don't know. Go to the grocery store every day. Well, they gonna so be? Are you going to they the can't store? tell you that you're not. Yeah, a lot of jobs we have that permission slip. I ride around with groceries in the back seat, like where are you going on my way back from the grocery store. I'm just saying. So when the when the first round of Hunger Games come, what we doing? Like is, y- y'all I'm gonna sit in my house? Is we gonna survive together? Or y'all gonna y'all gonna go ahead and take me out? I don't are, know. are we on the same team? Look, babe. All I know is I, w- I think we should. Be, we probably would be in the same district. I know where a house full of legal guns are. <laughs> Notice the keyword legal. Very legal. 
that's where I'm going to go sit. And whoever wants smoke. I only have a taser. And I'm going to bring all my legal guns. Yeah, it's fine. You can come with us. We just come <laughs> sit in the crib. Oh, you going to shoot something? We just go mind up I'll shoot. We I'm not scared you to something. shoot. I don't want to have to shoot. I don't want to have to shoot anything. Okay. I don't want to have to, but Please if you come in there, you're getting shot. Please. Y'all think it's going to get that bad? <laughs> um. Well, it's, it's, it's going to be more so, all right, so. It won't get that bad here. It won't get that bad like that, but so it's going to be more so people looking for shit. People panicking, scrambling, don't have no money. They kids is at home fucking starving or whatever, and they're going to cry on them on the bedroom floor. And the only way to feed them was to sleep with some man for a little bit of money. She was sleeping with niggas for the 40 ball. Listen, why was that her only, shit for me. Why was that her only option? I don't know. Why the fuck was that song so sad? I don't know, but that shit, <laughs> that shit, that shit was, banged why was, it, why was it such a banger? That's the problem. Like, 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 that's such a banger. That's what I meant by it being <laughs> it so sad. Banger. Like, niggas is really in the club jamming to that shit, and this is the saddest now song. Now that you like, damn. Nigga, Sleep kid. with a man for a little bit of for money. A little bit of money. A little right? bit of money. Her and her sister ran away, so they daddy wouldn't rape him. Like, this shit, that shit was just real. Yeah. But yeah, so it's more so going to be people scrambling in those kind of situations. I mean, it's already bad. And obviously all the police and shit going to be at the stores in front of the stores. So I ain't going to be low looting in there. So if she survived that, we can survive the corona. Fact. I mean, I think it's going to even get real inside of the store. Like, no, that's what like the, people so all looking the, for jobs now. All the National Guard and all that shit. That's they what they, that's where they're going to be. They're going to because definitely please believe if niggas start looting. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not even necessarily like, looking because you mean like niggas gonna come like how when the fuck you get this TV? I'm in Walmart, nigga. Where'd you get a seventy inch the from? Ceiling, nigga? Why the fuck? Do you I'm just saying there are like <laughs> people <laughs> that like have applied at my job that had these amazing jobs and they just need something, anything. See, me to tell me if you can be here temporarily, yeah. go into somewhere where there's like so, a cash office and grab you a little bit of money and get fired. Just, fuck it, what you gonna do? You don't yeah, care. You gonna have some money. And that's the whole thing. So it's like, all right, pawn shop's about to make a killer. If you if you that fucked up. And you can't get no bread. Oh. If you that fucked up and you can't get no bread. We running late. Then um most people are gonna be running into fucking other people's cribs and shit. I hope it doesn't get that bad. I hope it doesn't get that bad. Yeah. So I'm on the way. Hopefully it don't, but I mean I know. I mean hopefully all this hopefully all this shit shit just just bounce back. So We'll see. Not purge type shit. What well, I mean, the purge is a movie. Not saying it couldn't happen, yes, but sir. like that was like some pre planned shit with the government. Like I I doubt that we gonna just legalize all crime for the hold on. Right. Yo, whoever that is, we are fucking shooting. I apologize. I you are y'all cut your mic off, buddy. Oh, I appreciate you. <laughs> I'm glad he cut my mic off. I apologize. People are calling for my birthday. They're trying to get me drunk. Yeah, we going to fucking finish shooting and then we going <laughs> to fucking go anti-social distance. Job's bad because there's another house party with you. It's physical distancing now, you guys. Social not, distancing look, is like... I'm still sticking my dick in raw. I'm not physical myself distancing oh. myself from nobody. The fuck? A wise man once said, I catch chlamydia before I catch corona. Oh, my God. I don't know how wise he was when he said that, but it sounded like it made sense. When that was not it. wise at all. It, was not wise. <laughs> it sounded right when he That's said it. That's probably the like, unwisest shit ever. That's not me. You know phones come with vibrate features and shit, Yeah, I right? thought mine did, but it didn't. It's not working. If y'all don't know, look, I'm going to tell you one thing about me. No phones come First with vibrate all, features. It doesn't, ha- it doesn't have to be my birthday for me to do what the fuck I want to do, but the fact is that I'm an Aries, and today is my birthday. No, I want to do. Okay, yeah. Nobody care which fucking mythical creature you are. Or I know, that shit is bullshit. I would be a unicorn. <laughs> All right, so fuck the Rona. Yeah. That's some bullshit. There are a whole bunch of conspiracy theories out there. We'll get there are them. a lot of them. We're, yeah. we're going to shoot later on this. We can talk more in depth about the Rona. Yeah, yeah, we're not going to. Yeah, because we have nothing but fucking time. So niggas can't go nowhere else. I still have to work. I yeah. work. But it's some bullshit. We're going to home with some bullshit. Shout out to everybody that's working from home because of the Rona. So sports, um, what you think they should do? With what? So as far as sports, like, what do you think they should do? You think it's, it's too fucking late? They already shut everything down. No, that's what I'm saying. Down. So there's a lot of um. Um, no, I mean at this point you've already shut everything down, so you might as well just let it ride out until this shit go away. Okay, when you play basketball, how many people are on each team? Thirteen. But what? like I mean, when they like actually playing, like 13. like on the court. Yeah. 13. Oh, on the court it's five and five. That's oh, yeah. ten. And, unless you on ice cubes. But shit. you still need substitution shit, so. So they can so have it's, them. It's, not, it's okay. So this let is the plan that. Her point. Okay. They could have them, right? 
just have the chairs spaced out for the people that aren't playing, like those bench rider people, <clears throat> and then the ones that are actually playing. But it's a contact with, sport, right? Play with no fans. Yeah, it is a contact sport. But oh, that, never mind. But that's the thing. So they, what I was saying is, I mean, it's pretty much what you was like. Like a lot of people um, that's in that field are trying to pretty much do that with no fans. So they feel like all these organizations have enough money to test everybody. What the fuck is up with you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Like, As I'm looking at you, I just made it in my mind like I'm gonna try to piss John off this episode. <laughs> like, that's what I'm trying not to laugh. And my mind is going through like, yep, I just decided that <laughs> everything I do this episode is gonna be to try to. That piss shit John was off. just working just right now. Like, what the fuck is this nigga just staring at me like? <laughs> so, um, well, no. So that's what they was proposing. They say every organization, whether it be the NFL, NBA, whatever the case, they all make enough money to get the players tested. They can afford fifteen hundred dollars, and whoever fucking obviously turns up f- positive is out the league for indefinitely or whatever. So then you playing the league with half the superstars. Like that's we still got business. sports. I mean, but I don't want it. They have to get tested anyway. I'd rather go better niggas on the local court before I. Yeah, watch I mean, them. like I'm good on that. Just hold and then on. they had. Um, this shit just better be gone by the time NFL season starts. Yeah, and then it's they were saying, by the I summer. guess, uh, yeah. by the summertime. If, I'm okay with it. This shit's oh, trash. It, they they were saying if you know nobody has it, then besides yeah. besides the ones that have already came positive uh, or whatever, it's everywhere. Being. Yeah, but they, I'm talking about as far as the players. They talking about playing without fans. The Knicks owner has it, so you yeah, can't I even saw that. you can't even just play with essential personnel because you don't know who has it. So there's no leave it alone. I mean, that's just like our phone going off. Yeah. I what mean, was that little bang? What was that? Kyle wanted to piss me off, so I just figured I would. I well, would I'm in the middle. Y'all better stop this shit. But no, so <laughs> as far as um, playing without fans and shit, did y'all heard LeBron's piece on it? That he didn't want to do it. He wouldn't do it. Some shit like that. I feel like that so, would take the for the people for the people who didn't. Here's the twenty second twenty six second clip of LeBron talking about playing without fans. That might be like who? Hmm? Who? Who what? Who what? We play games without the fans? Yeah. No, it's impossible. Impossible. I ain't playing. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got the fans. That's what I play for. I play for my teammates. Play for. I play for the fans. That's what it's all about. So, if I show up to an arena and ain't no fans in there, I ain't playing. So, they can do what they want to do. Thanks, uh, everyone. I mean, I that's just that on that. If LeBron ain't playing, you think AD playing? No, nah, hell no. Nah. You think Anthony Takumbo playing? James Harden gonna play. I'm him. sure all their competitors is probably gonna play if LeBron. Kawhi is Leonard Leonard probably the only nigga that'll still show up to work. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else is playing. Like we just play one on one. Kawhi will ball in the hazmat suit if he could. Shit. <laughs> like, that nigga. Don't... Nigga, is that the Rona? It's the weed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the weed. So, did y'all see what I did there? I coughed into the elbow area. I ain't coughing my hand and shit. Like it's just simple shit. I also have hand sanitizer here at the house. Oh, wait, no, it tests back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my nigga. <laughs> it's like, my well. STD test. I, I, get it, I get it annually around my birthday time. <laughs> wow, so you know if you can raw some shit on your birthday? Yeah. Just wanted to make sure I'm good. Hey. That'll complete my whole last year of living. As long as those tests come back negative, that whole last year was good. Yeah. But, um, right. so, uh, but, all right, so, as far as the NBA, because... I think every other sport is just like, fuck it, we done. Um, so I know the NFL is still planning on having a draft. Um, but I guess they're doing it from... Nobody's going to be there. Everybody's going to get phone calls. Yeah, so I, yeah, that's pretty much what's going to be. And I guess they're going to uh, like FaceTime the athletes yeah. on their phones or whatever that's so fun. they'll let them know, you know where they're going. Keep, keep that shit on schedule so that she can still run when it comes yeah. August, September. I need that to still mm-hmm. run. The NBA is proposing to just come back and jump straight to the playoffs. Just like have a playoff style bracket. Yeah, they should not do that. They should just cancel this whole NBA season. Yeah, that's. October. And LeBron touched on that too. And uh, he was not feeling it at all. Jesus, B, what you going to do? Yeah, actually, hold on. I got that too. I don't know. <laughs> that shit is loud. That's hell. That's super fucking loud. <laughs> Barnes 1 1 and go and say, my first year, just own his possession in the postseason. If you make one mistake, you can lose a game. Oh, yeah. What's crazy is <laughs> San Antonio is only a half a game. All right. Um, I got to find the actual part. I fucking fast forwarded on the, on the wrong part. My bad, y'all. Okay. I got it. Um, 
Well, yeah, so he was pretty much saying, like, he's not, Kyle, we're not doing this shit today, dog. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not with the shit. When I tell you I'm the pettiest nigga on earth, I know how to get under anybody's skin. <laughs> I'm not with this shit today. I'm missing everything. I, I don't, I'm not even doing that. It's just the way I'm looking at him. Oh. <laughs> Potentially, you guys are the Clippers in the first round. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, you, you, you can't just go, like, one thing you can't just do. Just go straight yeah. to the playoffs because it discredits oh. it discredits the sixty plus games that guys had, you know, fighting for that position, you know. So, but in the same regard, now granted, obviously I don't play, but I still so, think that like you have played a, a substantial amount of games. That when it comes down to making that decision, I still think that's fair. What do you mean? Elaborate. Like if you're going. Uh, a play in or a best of three or best of five. I mean, the season was suspended and everyone was put to a halt between 60 and 63, 64 games played already. So it's an even playing field from that standpoint. If you hadn't been in a position to be one of the. All right, so yeah. I'm pretty, I'm pretty much on board oh, with LeBron. Oh, no, I just poured my shit in my cup. Oh, guess I'm that. fucking designated driver. I'm not oh, shot. Cool. I'm not I'll, doing no more shots. Yeah, it's your <laughs> birthday. Um, and I apologize for the sidebar. Not that you know, I really give a shit. But no, LeBron. He, I mean, he just sounds like he got common sense. Why the fuck would you? Yeah. You can't play people like that. You real life just unfortunately it sucks for everybody who had a great season. Like you just got to cancel the season. Yeah, because it's like bring it back in the summer and run. That's it out. like all right. So what if you got a bomb ass fucking shots you, up? Shots up. You had a bomb ass season and you fucking been on a run. And then if they starting with all 32 teams in the fucking playoffs, the fucking 32 C or 16 C rather come in that bitch and end up being fucking. Yeah, it's, not, it's not cool. You can't do it. End up winning the shit. Cause like the other, and you, we don't even know what the health conditions of the superstars going to be if they come back in fucking May or June. This is true. We don't even know when this shit might go away or whatever the case is. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with LeBron. They should just go ahead and let it go. Yeah. Huh. So just deal with no sports for a while. Yeah, there's no timetable to when it's gonna end. Just gotta deal with it. Yeah. So as far as uh, I think what Brady? That's all we got left. He's old. Sports. He is still making. He's old, but he's still fucking touchdown time. He sit his old ass down somewhere. He's still touchdown time. It was a good move for him. This nigga getting up. fifty million a year. It's twenty five a year, two years fifty. I thought it was a hundred million for two years. It's only fifty. Oh, he's so 50. old. He's still great. Though. Why can't he just still, sit down and be old? Because he's the greatest quarterback of all time. And when you have that kind of competitive spirit, and you, you just can't stop it. And then he's gonna get fucked up by somebody younger. Tom Brady's actually one of. The, it's crazy. Like his health regimen is retarded. He, he's still old. He's oh yeah, this nigga is like yeah. He's, he's had, like, like one Le- major injury in his whole career. He's like LeBron. Like, when it comes to, like, staying in shape and working out and shit, yeah. He's like LeBron. I still think he should sit down somewhere. Why? Brett Favre played until he was, like, 73. It's just... You can't can't put a timetable on greatness. It just expires when it expires. And as long as he's still able to perform at a high level that he is, I don't think he's ever going to... Yeah, he's not going to be the Wizards Jordan. And... Niggas forget, nigga, Wizards Jordan was still dropping 30 a game. Yeah, he does. <laughs> like, the team just sucks. Niggas can make jokes, but he was still dropping 30 a game on niggas in the back nine of his fucking career. But, yeah, I mean, this is the time where we're going to see if if it was Belichick or if it was Brady. Or we're going to see, you know, pretty much if Brady was a system quarterback or if he's actually what we think he is. This is true. Granted, we get a fucking football season. Um I know we don't have no fucking more UFC or boxing. I know Bones Jones happy. Yeah. Because ain't nothing for them to suspend him from. He did get caught with some dumb shit, did he? Yeah, driving uh, D- DUI and had a pistol on him. Why would he not have a gun? You think people ain't going to try him because he can't fight? I'll shoot your ass, too. Because he can't fight. This nigga's like the best. I'm saying he can't, oh, he can't yeah. fight. Oh, yeah, then. I got you. I got you. You know what I'm saying? So legally, I'm a, yeah, legally, legally, he can't. Can. So, I would so, shoot you. Fuck you. So, all right. So, people misconstrue that hands being registered shit as you can't get your ass whooped. No. I mean, you it's can, just like using a registered weapon. You just yeah. have to be in, in use of it. If you go slap the shit out of a boxer, he can beat the, the shit out of you. But easily, it'd probably be easier for him to get out of a shooting and yeah. beating the body Shoot the ass. Oh, yeah. Fuck I mean, damn it. Yo, my granddaddy said, you'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by six. Facts. So, hey, granddaddy. You know, that's just what it is. 
But yeah, I mean, I, I hope he get it together, man. He's my favorite fucking fighter, so I mean, I, I definitely want to see him continue his his fucking career and be great and keep knocking motherfuckers out. Um, yeah. As far as sports go, because there's no about fucking it. sports. That's, that's about right. it. We'll talk about the draft and the trades and all that shit um, next next joint. Because <laughs> I don't think we're going to have too much content in between. So. No, no. so let's get the music. Get music out of the way. Jesus, um, what's up, Par? I like the weekend. Yeah, that's better than what I was gonna give it. I mean, that's, that, I just want to get that out of the way. We're not even not much. Really no, I'm not even. I'm not album. gonna review Jeezy's yeah. album. It's just like I'm. It's not much of I honestly don't even so want to talk about it. I just I was really disappointed. I did like the weekend album. And Vito. Weekend shit was fire. I didn't hear Vito shit yet. Jesse I mean, Reyes shit was, Jesse Reyes, it, was everything fire. I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, she's on her, her album with "I Should Have Fucked Your Friends." I was like. Jeez. Whoever that nigga is, I wish I was his friend. That's cool. Wow. Jesse Reyes. Like, that's the very first line of her album. I should have fucked your friend. Ooh. She is bad, too. Yeah, I like her. I love her. I know. I know. I talk about it damn near every yeah. episode, huh? I love you, Jesse. Summer Walker, I love you. Jesse Reyes is everything. But no, I'm, I'm glad she finally, after all these years, dropped an actual album. Her EPs have been fired. So, she got the album out. That shit was everything I fucking anticipated it to be. And... Yeah, so she delivered. The weekend delivered. Party Next Door definitely did deliver. Party delivered. I that shit, hear it. That shit with him and Drake is probably going to be the fucking single of the summer. I didn't listen to Uzi's album, but I heard Lil Uzi's album was fire. I think he actually yeah. dropped two of them. He, I was going to I was gonna ask you which one. Cause he so, did he's not two. done making music? Nah, they're never done when they say they're done. You can't retire from being a rapper. It doesn't have a retirement plan. You just quit. You can retire. Young Dolph has retired. That's exactly how I felt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Young Dolph has mm. retired. But no, nah, Party Nights door shit was fire. Yeah, yeah. I gotta hear it. it like, nah, that shit that shit was good. Slim Thug shit was alright too. He, 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 got he got the Rona too. Definitely I heard and Scarface. Scarface got the Rona too. That shit's everywhere. But Scarface I'm, said he never even left his house. He said he never even left his house. He wasn't even around nobody. He didn't go anywhere. I know who don't got it. Me. Who who don't got the coronavirus? Shit is real. Me. Cardi. Me. She no. said she think all these celebrities is getting paid to say they got the coronavirus. He just I'm just denied it, but I mean, he denied being paid. <clears throat> no, well, yeah, denied that you know actors and people are being paid. Oh, that should be stupid. Yeah, that's what he said. There are a lot of conspiracies. I mean, if niggas is paying me to say I have some, I would I would definitely say it's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> would, I'm not going to tell you that they paid I would, Yeah, I would definitely try to deflect as hard as I can to make it seem like I didn't get paid for the shit that you're saying I got paid for. Why would I walk in my house? Why would I walk in this house and just put my feet all on this couch? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I wouldn't put my feet yeah. on this couch. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, she that's what she thinks. But, you know, Cardi's, yeah, like, Cardi's a comp- conspiracy theorist anyway. She's, I mean, some of this shit just don't make sense to me. So I'm not going. I'm just trying yeah. to figure out what conspiracy. Is. Some just what is that sense. that actor that they're called that they hire people to do? The oh, actor? crisis actor. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Could be. Never know. Ooh, <laughs> hotline. Is it some titties? Not this time. Oh, okay. Y'all be getting titties to y'all phone? I I've gotten some. I don't get titties. I just said not. But I didn't ask for them, and then they weren't even cute. I told you, Pam be piping these bitches. I do not. I do not. That's fire. I do not. So, Pam, what's on your sex bucket list? Um. And we got eight minutes. Because y'all not going to get me beat the fuck up. I think. I love you, man. You know, this is nothing personal. I'm not fighting country and all them niggas for you. Exactly. I don't, I don't have time. I just want to go take shots. What do you say? I'm not good. fighting a bunch of big ass niggas with no with, haircuts. With no haircuts? <laughs> <laughs> That's not happening. Sex bucket list. I think to have somebody like watch me masturbate because I've never done that in front of somebody. What? I know it sounds crazy, but for me, it's like I'm not like a, a visual <laughs> person. <laughs> yeah, I've never done that. Like I've done it, but I've never like nobody's so ever watched me. So all the me wild do that. shit that you talk about doing, couples and masturbation doing to is a niggas. Thing. Yeah. yeah, I've never done that though. Like I'm so here for it. I just never. That's done like that. the basics. Not even like like you FaceTime? can do that on Facetime. That's what you do on Facetime. Yeah, but I've never like dealt with anybody that ever I had wanted a threesome to do on that. Because people are like, I've talked to some guys that haven't been with the shit. So 
I'm talking niggas that don't like the choke stroke. They don't like you, certain things. You had one on Snapchat too. Wow. <laughs> wow. What's your snap? I want to watch it. What's going on here? But yeah, I think that yeah. that was something that'd be up there because I haven't done that. What's on yours, Juju? You had one on Snapchat too. It is not. It is not what it looked like. Okay. What's on yours? <laughs> Eating some ass finally. No. Yeah. Right. <laughs> this niggas never wish eat you, ass. Wish you would grow up. Jesse Reyes, oh, I love me, baby. Not people. <laughs> oh no, I was I was just com- picking back up that comment. Uh, not point, not the even, question. I don't even know what would be on my sex bucket list. That's what I'm saying. Like I don't, I really don't. I don't There's know. nothing crazy that you want to do. I've literally lived. I think I've seen some of the crazy yeah. shit that I've like the shit that, that are I, probably so, be watched. I would love that. Too. I've been watched though. Like I've been to a sex club. All right, so I, I want to do that. I don't know if it's actually there's, my bucket list. There's one in Atlanta, one in Miami. We can go to both of them. There's one in DC too. There's two in DC. I don't know if it's two in DC. Mm-hmm. Scoop, scuba fucking is a thing. I don't know if I like. There's a, it's a couple that does like all like extreme fucking. Oh, yeah. They scuba fuck. They skydive fuck. Like they like all the extreme shit you could think of. They they do it and fuck at the same time. I'm not doing that. I guess the only place I can think of like I would do a skydiving. I don't know about scuba diving. That water is crazy. I don't know about skydiving. That seems like it's too much. That seems like too. much. I mean, fuck it. If you die, I mean that's a. I don't want to die naked. With your dick and some body. You dead? Why the fuck does it matter? You ain't gonna be here to live My that embarrassment down. Identify the body. They gonna, was left. You think they just gonna <laughs> not cover you up till she get there? Um, they just gonna leave you out? I don't know, and I don't want to find out. <laughs> you ain't gonna find out. You dead? My subconscious, you know. You gotta have something that you haven't done. Oh, your pa- your you Patrick Swayze ghost. Some shit that I, I some place that I've never had sex like on top of a like the top deck of a cruise ship at night. So, that'd be dope. That shit is. Yeah. I mean, that'd be cool. Oh, you said the top deck. Yeah, like I was gonna say, like the like, cruise balcony, like, that, yeah, like that's that's normal. Balcony's cool, yeah, like, that's cool. well, like, that's what like that's outside. what everybody fucks at yeah. when they on the cruise if they got a balcony. So it'd be so. some wild shit, like a place, but like like I would like to be watched, like not by like a little bit of people. When you Google like nasty ebony porn, that's what porn, I I look at all that shit. But I've done that shit because I've watched it. And I was like, you know what? I want to do that shit. Scoot and the, eventually, I've done it. Scoot the mic that way. There you go. I've done it. See, I haven't done a lot. I've done some things, but I'm not gonna tell you the wildest shit I've done in my life because you know there's just some things. Me, you, I've done some yeah, things. Yeah, there's just some things you just gotta. Some take things to the that you don't really like, say, and then you be like yeah. waking up the next day like you nasty as. F-. Yeah. yeah. I tell my best friend everything. She just be like, "Your life is not normal." Just and know to me, that. it just seems normal. She's like, "No, like you do shit that most people." I think I've definitely like life. done some <laughs> things to people. I'm just fucking with y'all. Or I'm just you. <laughs> You ever done some shit so nasty that that person got to stay in life because they don't ever want you to tell nobody the nasty shit that you've done to them? She just sent me a meme of that shit the other day. It was like, nah, once you do this, you're bonded for life. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, you know, once you do some we ill we shit, you're fucking bonded. Like, we're we're um, definitely together for life, B. Yeah. You awful quiet yeah, over you there. Can, who's you want to interrupt y'all? Just interrupt y'all fucking conversation? You want me to be rude? It ain't a rude. So you can tell me how fucking rude I am? I mean, like, why you talking like out of the ordinary mid Yeah, sentence? seriously. I don't do that. I say excuse me and everything. Like, so, I mean, if we having a conversation, it's different. What's on the bucket list? Please? What's on the bucket list, John? Yo, we literally just went through that part. No, uh, I didn't hear your bucket list. I, missed I don't really have one. See, that's like you didn't you. I did right after he said that. I was like, yo, I really don't think I have one either, or I never put much thought into it. Because everything I wanted to do for this. At this point, I've probably pretty much done. Like, I really had, eat a, some ass. I had a virtual I threesome. I said that I wanted to do. Shit. Like, this is you don't want to eat no ass ever? Jesse Reyes, I let me. Anyway. You know, anyway. Closing words for the week. Because you know what that tech message is. I don't give a fuck about that. I give a fuck about this. I like this too. <laughs> what today this, is the day what our social from. distancing? Yeah, social distance and stay the fuck away from me. So I'm gonna tell y'all while we're wrapping it up shortly because it's my birthday and we're gonna go get drunk with my friends. Um, and the yeah. longer our episodes is, the less y'all tune in. To be honest, so. And I love the BYOB podcast with all of my heart. I genuinely do. And we're gonna shoot a little more in detail episode later this week. We're gonna work it out for y'all. We just giving y'all something to hold y'all over. Just a summer. Keep y'all. So are y'all gonna have some Corona house. sex? I don't I'm not want, having Corona sex. I, was like, I don't want any sex that transfers <laughs> any kind of viruses. I don't want to have no Corona sex. Are you guys gonna have some some quarantine, quarantine sex? Quarantine sex. Hopefully, 
I want quarantine sex, but I don't want to be quarantined with anybody. If that that's what I'm sense. saying. Like, so how does that work? Is it like I'm some? Going that's to why the grocery I said. Store. No, I'm saying so you go. No, yes, after the. That's a double entendre. I don't. I don't think. Uh, <laughs> no, it's a double entendre. I'm not talking about you eating groceries. I'm saying <laughs> no, like, uh, is that really what you want to bag joints at right now? No, I'm that's not. That's where the Corona actually. Actually, store, but that's actually, what I want to tell the cops. They've been coming out. I'm on my way to get some pussy. That's where the, the Corona. Really, really, really beautiful yeah, they, people have been they, coming out, and they bringing the Corona with them. You're not gonna catch the coronavirus for a bad bitch. How bad? Oh my god! <laughs> like like, like oh my a god. nine, yeah, like a nine. How like bad? A nine. Like a nine. Like IG model bad? I not even just IG model. That's just all around nine. Like she bad. Oh, like she like, got her shit like together. A like a bad local joint. Yeah, 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 like she got her shit together. She got her own. You know? Nah. Okay. I might be the one healthy nigga that die from it. I'd be mad as a bitch. I'd be mad too. I couldn't talk shit to you anymore. If Yo, you're, just if like if you're a nine all the way around. You got the coronavirus. Duh. It's okay, baby. Call me. I'll come take care of you. Shout out to Zoo too. I fucking but like my nigga, too. but like my nigga Zoo said, if I die from the coronavirus, tell niggas I got shot. Yeah, cause that's some bitch shit to go out. There. <laughs> like, I'm just joking. We got people. Who <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we're just, but yeah, these nah, are just take, jokes. Like we yeah, take. We, we, ha ha. Left. Sorry for anybody who's but lost yeah. a family or two. You know, we definitely don't want that. But yeah, at the end of the day, you have to find something to laugh about. Yeah, I feel like you should be able to laugh through any crisis. That's a fact. But that's what black people do most. That's why we don't take shit serious. It ain't that we don't take shit serious. It's we just... It's actually we a, so used to trauma that yeah, we fucking... It's actually a horrible defense mechanism that yeah. you know, we'll talk about that one day. But that's yeah. it. It's we, not really good for us. We just so used to trauma that we just fucking... We, that's how we cope. We make jokes and we laugh and get drunk. So anyway, closing words for the week. Pam, you want to start or Kyle, you want to start? I'll start. I just say quarantine and chill. Start. Be safe. <laughs> Have some sex. Safe and there is a condom shortage, so stock up on Plan B's. Stock every, up on all that shit. Every store that I've been to had nothing but condoms in there. It Niggas just came out today on the news. Niggas today, there's a shortage. There's a company that makes usually ten million a week, and they're not even close now. I you, think I think that's a marketing strategy. Niggas is not out buying condoms. <laughs> <laughs> like I think they're saying it's a condom shortage to make motherfuckers go to the store to buy condoms. Buy some condoms, otherwise it's going to be a baby. Regular yeah. motherfuckers. Y'all niggas is creating an excuse for me, <laughs> nigga. This is beautiful. <laughs> Shorty, I stopped at three different stores. They didn't even have any. Oh my god, that is so <laughs> awful. What you want to do? <laughs> How do you handle this, baby? That's terrible. Kyle, close the words for the week. It's my motherfucking birthday. It's your man. motherfucking birthday. Hey man, do what the fuck you want to do in life. I almost wasn't here a year ago. Yeah. Like that shit, real life happened. Yeah. That I'm shit. Here. That shit did. So do what the fuck you want to do in life, man. Whatever you want to do, go out and do it. Don't let nobody stop you. Don't let this corona shit stop you. Don't let haters stop you. Don't let people who doubt you stop you. Just go do what the fuck you want to do and enjoy your life to to your fullest extent. Damn right. Don't live it according to nobody else's standards. Yeah, and listen to Jeezy's new album while you're enjoying life. Y'all said it's trash. If you haven't watched it, go watch the uh, Tiger King on Netflix. Though Tiger King is yo, that fucking shit is, that's, amazing. Yo, that show is wild as shit. That show is definitely wild as a motherfucker. We'll, let, we'll review that in full because that shit was some wild shit. <laughs> yeah, but. yeah. Um, what you I, got? I guess my closing words for this week, especially with all the shit going on, is open your market up, your personal market. Like, so many people losing jobs and shit. So find something to invest in yourself. Yeah, that's what I mean. But find something to invest in to make your money work for you. Like. Mm. You don't want to be caught in this type of situation again. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people have taken a crazy financial hit yeah. because of this shit. So even sitting in it now, find a new hustle. Like, yeah, that's, right. that's what I mean. Because so I think of yeah, that, so <laughs> even invest like, in that. And this, the, the shit hustle, that you love yeah. to do at the house, just take it and market it some way. Because there's something out there that everybody needs. There's something that you can yeah. do that somebody else can't do. Yeah. yeah. Or, I mean, somebody might be able to do it, but that might be a saturated market that you can fucking jump in on. You know what I'm saying? How many yeah. motherfucking um, carpet cleaner niggas is it? How these, many these motherfucking kids gonna need tutors? Auto detailers, like, tutors, like all the te- well, teachers get salary, so they getting paid regardless right now. Yeah, right? but they still trying to jerk them around. But even still, yeah, I like, mean, but teachers get paid nothing at the same time, yeah, so exactly. I can't even. And even not even just for the teachers, for the kids, like these kids out of school, they closing school systems for whole years. Like yeah, and a lot of parents losing their jobs because of that because they can't so fucking leave their kids at home yeah. by themselves. So. They about to send us back to the Stone Age, dude. Yeah, so that's it. Just open your market up and uh, try to find investments. I'm sure somebody you know somewhere knows something about investing in something. Um, if not, everybody has a fucking smartphone. 
Yeah. YouTube University. Everybody has a smartphone, and I'm sure everybody has some sort of internet access. If you don't, fucking library offers it for free. Facts. There's nothing that you can't research within fucking 10 seconds. So just get on that shit and fucking make make life happen because we don't know how bad this shit might get. And we don't know if this shit might happen again. So stay ready. So you ain't got to get ready. That's it. Hey. Smarten up. Open your market up. Toast up. Oh, I do got something in this cup. I've been chasing my shots with liquor. That's terrible. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's go get real drunk. We out. <laughs>